It's really a story of friendship. I'm the professor and Mitch is my student and we were good friends. And then we kind of went our separate ways. Mitch Album, who wrote the book back in 1995, was a sports writer, a very um, popular, successful journalist. And one night he saw him on Nightline and discovered that he had been diagnosed with ALS. He reconnected, somewhat out of a sense of obligation to see him one last time. And little did he know that that meeting would lead to many, many, many more meetings and actually completely changed the trajectory of his life. The set is beautiful, it's simple. It creates this intimate feeling in this huge space and you feel like you're in the living room. And throughout this process, oh my gosh, almost on a daily basis, it makes you think about those things. Am I living like I should be living? And how he comes to realize through the process of dying from this awful disease, the way that he should have been living all along. I think everything takes on a more vibrant life uh, in person, sharing together a special moment that no one will ever experience again in exactly the same way as it's going to be that night. Jake and Kevin are very talented actors. I'm so excited to have them on the stage at 80 Players for the first time. I am excited about being with these new friends and sharing this magnificent story. I think people are going to be really surprised at how funny the show is. It's very funny. Maury had an amazing dry sense of humor. I cannot wait for audiences to come see this show. The play is about how to live, and I don't think anybody is going to leave the theater feeling down. There will be tears, but there's a lot of laughs on the way to those tears. I think as many people who can should come and see it.